What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump out and into our antics for the day of modifying the Cummins, we have an exciting announcement and that is for the Dream Diesel giveaway number two, AKA Ron Burgundy, AKA the Daddy Max. If you haven't seen on Instagram, well, then you probably haven't followed me yet. So all that information's below, Dirty Max and Enthusiast Apparel right down in the description. Go ahead and visit that if you'd like. But I have announced that on behalf of the Sweepstakes Agency, random drawing, the winner for Ron Burgundy is Austin Hinshaw out of Loretto, Kentucky. So as we normally do in our normal giveaway fashion, I've not had the privilege of contacting Austin for myself, but he is aware of the fact that he is the winner of the truck. Very exciting time. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a call real quick and hopefully he answers to see how he's feeling and what we're going to be able to get him here later in the week to pick up his new dually. His order was placed on April 19th and this giveaway closed April 21st. So he was definitely one of the procrastinators. Usually the luck is that, well, we just get voicemail. So if that works, we're just playing to the track record. Hello. Hi, is this Austin? Yes, sir, it is. Austin, this is Jack speaking. How are you, dude? I'm doing all right. How are you? I, I, think that, I think that I'm good, but not nearly as good as you probably are right now. Yeah. I got to ask you, dude. I mean, right off the way, obviously, the, you know, the, the sweepstakes company has been in touch with you already about the great news. Right. And, uh, well, what's going through your mind, man? I, I, I need to know. I thought it was a joke at first. I, you know, I was like, man, this is Yeah, I feel like I would have a hard time explaining it too, to be honest with you. And I always get very, very excited about about this moment. I think selfishly, this is my favorite time out of all of the giveaways, whether it's the builds or the promotion of them or, or anything. I mean, honestly, having this first call is something I really look forward to, man. Um, I, I'm stoked for you, dude. Um, I can't wait. I'm super stoked. I know I've asked this a few times on Instagram, like, you know, who's the first person that you would tell? Where's the first place you would go? Who was the first person they ended up telling? My girlfriend's brother was standing right there when I got the phone call, so uh, he was the first to know, and my girlfriend was second to know. So. Well, dude, we're excited to get you out here. Um, it's going to be your first time flying. Are you excited or nervous about that at all, or are you just ready to take it on? Uh, Just keep your eyes on the prize, my man. <laughs> right, right. So what we're gonna do, dude, is uh, we're gonna fly you in uh, to a local airport. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna pick you up. We're gonna head on over to Limeridge Automotive. We're gonna present you the truck and, and your prize. We're gonna hand you over the keys. We're gonna get it registered in your name. Um, we're gonna fill up your tank of fuel and give you some cash to drive home. And and man, we're gonna we're gonna pat you on the back, shake your hand, and, and send you on the way on your way with a smile. Oh man, that's awesome. I really really appreciate this, man. It's I love what you do. I've watched, you know, since day one, I've watched all your videos. And me and my girlfriend, literally every, you know, upload you have. It's really awesome what you do. Really. Well, dude, it's it's these conversations, Austin, and the relationships that I get to create with people like yourself. Oh, yeah, definitely. You might be doing your dream, but you're making other people's dreams come true, you know, and I, I think that's awesome. I'm happy to say that I've conquested you over to the GM side, and I don't know if you'll ever look back, dude. I don't, I don't think I will. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty dead set on it. Uh, well, you know, you still have an option. I'm sure a lot of people watching this video right now, they'd be happy to take your spot. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they will. I've done it, uh, you know, the people... From my hometown, hey man, you gonna sell the truck? You wanna sell it? I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> well, you know, as as excited as I am for you, I'm also a little envious because I have fallen so deeply in love with with Ron Burgundy, dude. Um, it is it is quite literally, I think, my favorite build that I've ever put together on the channel. Um, and I know you're gonna enjoy it, but I'll tell you what, like, there's just something about that truck, man. The the moment that you revealed that you were, you know, building that truck, uh, my girlfriend was like, I don't know how I really feel about it. She was like, I love the color. And then once you did everything, she was like, you have to have that truck. Her brother, we, we bought her stuff at the same time, you know, whenever we put our interest in. And uh, it was like, the chances are like one in a million of you ever getting that truck or me ever getting that truck. And then when I told him, he was like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> wow. It's so surreal, dude. I mean, just hearing it from your end, it's, it's, it's so surreal. It's, I don't know. Like I said, it's one of those feelings, I don't know. I can't, I can't wait. I'm real stoked. Me too, dude. Me too. Uh, I, I couldn't be any more excited. And, um, you know, I think the cool thing is, is you mentioned your uh, brother-in-law. Yeah, it, well, it'll be one day, yeah. Okay, so soon to be brother-in-law. Um, you know, if you're feeling generous, you can always toss him the keys and let him enjoy the ride too. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
Sure. And I'm grateful for your, for your support, man. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll lock down all the flight details for you to get your travel arrangements squared away. And I will see you at the airport um, in just a few days. All right, man. I can't wait. All right, man. I look forward to meeting you in person. All right. We'll see you Wednesday. All right. Take care, brother. All right. Bye. I know I say it all the time, guys, but um, the feeling that comes out of those conversations is just the level of, I don't know, gratefulness, gratitude, and satisfaction unlike words can really describe, and it's it's cool. It's really cool. And um, I get a little bit nervous at times, you know, all right, hey, the giveaway winner is going to be appreciative, and um, are they going to be thrilled and excited? And I've been super lucky to kind of just know that my entire audience is extremely positive and supportive um, and and humble, just like Austin and same with Drew. It's a really cool thing. Anyway, guys, I'm really happy we could uh, get off to that awesome start to this video. Now let's transition into the regular scheduled content to get those Cummins mods underway. We've got a lot in store for that truck, so enjoy. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Mods on mods on mods. Hopefully today goes a little bit smoother than the last video, because man, we just struck out nonstop. I have a good feeling about it though. Let's get over to the shop. It's like Christmas all over again. And we have this one too. chew a lot of seeds and it's kind of inconvenient to have a bottle with me all the time. So they kind of end up all over my floor, but that's what shop vacs are for. Let's get those mods out of the truck. Hey guys, good news is we already got our second set of mirrors in from the last time that we made, well, the failure video, which was my last upload. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing some aesthetic upgrades and actually completing them. Wow, imagine that. So I think that the Dodge aesthetically uh, actually really benefits from its stock appearance, but there are some small changes that could be made to make it just look that much better in my opinion. Now you guys know that we are gonna be doing fourth gen mirrors. Those ones right there, hopefully I didn't just break the lens. We will be putting those on today, but I also wanted to change something up front. Now I'm not really sure how this is gonna work as I wasn't able to find accurate pictures to really represent this truck in a way because the color makes a world of difference, but the headlights. So the headlights on these trucks are like full chrome and I don't know, I don't know if I like them yet. I kind of like them a little bit because I kind of feel like they actually really play into the look of the truck, but I needed to test for my own theory of whether they would look better with blacked out headlights. So we picked ourselves up a set of black housing headlights for the truck. Now, I don't know if I'm actually gonna like these on the truck and well, there's no better way to find out than to grab yourself a set and get them installed. So what we're gonna do real quick before we jump into the mirrors is actually see what this truck looks like with black headlights and well, we can then decide together if we need to stay black or if we should stay with the chrome. I'm like 50-50 about this mod. It's either gonna work really well or it's not gonna work at all. Luckily, it looks like they are super easy to change. <laughs> And the last one, which is buried way up. Woo! All right. Freaking thing rocketed out. Yeah, I don't know. I like the blacked out. I'm pretty blacked out, but are the blacked out headlights really gonna look best for this truck? Guess it's time to find out. No, it even came with the pop clip. Interesting. Your services are not needed here, sir. in there nice and good loud. I don't want to pop this in completely yet. It'll make it kind of difficult to come out, but you should be able to get a good gauge of what it looks like this one. Let's look from that angle. Oh, interesting. Chrome versus black. I don't know. I like the concept of the black. I think the black flows well with the black plastics on the truck, but being that that is just a massive characteristic of the front end, it almost seems like the chrome plays in with the wheels. Let's go throw the other one in here real quick. We'll see how it looks. Lay that there. Moving to truth, boys. 
What do you think? Drop a comment below right now as to what you guys are thinking about the blacked out headlight housings. Personally, I think I was a little bit skeptical because I couldn't really find any photos that accurately represented how it would complement this truck. And now seeing it in person, totally different story. I actually really, really like it. All I gotta say to that mod is that the OEM manufacturers didn't change all of their production products to black headlight housings just because they wanted to. I think that that's complement to the fact that they look way better. It almost kind of breaks up some of the front a little bit rather than having that, I don't know. I don't wanna say that these are an eyesore, but maybe it was just a little bit overbearing. Whereas that, that to me is pretty clean. I think I'm gonna rock it for a little while. I'm gonna hold on to these just in case I decide to change my mind, but I'm pretty happy with that decision. I said it was well worth the money. In the actual clothes, everything's locked in, secured. I like it. We're gonna rock it for a little while. The nice thing about this is, is you can always go back. But I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Overall fit and finish of these headlights is great too. Huh. Awesome. And the second thing on our to-do list, hopefully not broken this time, the new mirrors. Let's check them out. It's supposed to be the power ones too, so only time will tell. It says it right there, boys. Fragile. Cool. This is what I like to see so far. We have our power outlet and you're, you're kidding. kidding. I don't know how this company could have screwed this up again. They sent third gen mirrors for my third gen comments that I wanted to put fourth gen mirrors on. Okay. Well, you're just striking out big time. I guess uh, third time is going to have to be a charm, maybe, for these. I always say uh, good things don't come easy. Wow. Unbelievable. Box them right back up and take them right back to the UPS store. Get it right eventually, boys. And being that that was a complete failure, at least we're halfway through today, so we're succeeding at 50%, but that's still failing, and we have to pull that average way up. So we're gonna go with some other lighting upgrades for the Dodge. Now, I think we addressed a really crucial topic up front. They look great. We'll get around to the mirrors eventually. Sorry guys, I mean, you do a good job, but grass is always greener somewhere else. But on the back end here, one of my biggest complaints with these Dodges are these weird bug eye taillights. Tinted out look okay, but in my opinion, this design, like, oh my goodness, what, what, what even is this? It's like, let's make something protruding and make it look as awkward to the rest of the vehicle as physically possible. And well, Dodge engineers, you guys did it. I don't know why they changed from the early third gen style taillights in my opinion. I mean, I think that this is kind of generational away. Some other cars had like these bulging type of headlights and then they quickly realized how much of an issue that was and quickly trash that design concept. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these today by changing them with a set of taillights from our good friends at Recon. So our good friends at Recon came through once again in delivering on a superior product. I've never been the biggest fan of changing tail lights, at least on some of my personal vehicles, but I'll tell you what, these Recon lights are something in and of themselves. They're plug and play, and in my personal opinion, they look absolutely awesome. Being that we blacked out the front headlights on this truck, well, we had to black out the tail lights and we had to get rid of those just awful designs. And that's exactly what we're doing today. A way sleeker, way sexier product, which is gonna look, oh, so good on the blue as well, like my goodness. Much, much better. So we went with the blacked out housing recon taillights that are LED. They do not have the OLED like we did on Ron Burgundy because, well, I didn't wanna go that route. They offer it, which is nice, but I kinda wanted to stick with the traditional pad style LED. On the new fourth gen Cummins, they had this like kinda square style LED pattern and I really liked that a lot. So I wanted to kind of infuse some of that styling onto our truck here. And then last but not least, we also went with an LED third brake light to get rid of that red. I think that the red and the blue kinda clashes a little bit too much. It's like drastic transitions that really don't play well into one another. So with the blacked out accents, I think everything is really gonna tie itself. And I think with all the black all around, it's gonna look way better. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let there be light. Oh yes. Oh, that looks slick. Stock, recon, not good, very good. One of the worst OEM designs I've ever seen. Mwah, mwah. But a fit. It's definitely a double thumbs up in my opinion. And last but not least here, we're gonna go ahead and throw this LED third brake light in because that is no good. <laughs> Just like that and it's off. Stick that up there. Oh, good. Oh yeah, 
That is going to look way better. Nice. Sorry that I'm sniffling so much, guys. I don't think I'm coming down with a cold, but man, the seasonal allergies just punch me in the face this time of the season. And man, I'm running through tissues like crazy. And now, boys, we are indeed in business. Oh, man, I love them. Just the fact that these are blacked out, they go together with the blue and the black theme of the truck, they have LEDs, and they follow the contour of the bed. That's what we want. Those big bubbly things, goodbye forever. All right, so it's enough of being cooped up in the garage. I think that there's like pollen in here everywhere because my allergies feel awful right now. So how about we go ahead and get this thing outside? We'll give it a full look. Bring some tissues along too because people gotta breathe. It. We've got some lighting upgrades that I think made a massive difference. Small upgrades, big difference. I'd say a return on the investment has been substantial. Since the beginning of the vlog, the new headlights have grown on me a lot. I was a little hesitant, but in the dim lit setting of the garage, maybe it just wasn't all that appealing to the lights. But now we've got kind of this blacked out light theme and I think it plays really well into the truck. The blacked out headlight housings in the front, some of the black accents around the truck, not the fourth gen mirrors because well, geez sensitive subject and of course the recon lights on the back with the tinted third brake light now guys the coolest part about all this is i offer a 20 percent discount code on recon products through enthusiast if you check out the description of this video there is a discount code there if you guys like these products or any other products that recon has to offer i'm offering you somewhat of an exclusive discount just remember guys you get what you pay for if you buy a quality product generally it's going to come at a quality cost but here is your chance to take some of that off the top and reap the benefits of something that you know is gonna fit and finish well and stay watertight because that's pretty important when it comes to lighting as well. So check that out in the description below. I absolutely fell in love with the Recon products on the LBZ Dually and that's why it motivated me to go out and get them for this truck. And my goodness, has it changed it so much. I am just absolutely in love with how this thing is progressing. And I'm telling you what, this black on blue just works out so, so well. Now guys, I have some more bad news. I know it's like bad news lately. I keep this channel as positive as possible, but at times mother nature really just impedes on the progress of the videos. Although it's not raining right now, they're saying that it's gonna start raining here shortly. And unfortunately there was an event that was canceled that we're not gonna be able to attend. It was some dirt drags locally. I was gonna go down there. I was gonna strap some GoPros up to some local French trucks that make some ridiculous power and well, are just really gnarly for off-road use only, but that was a little bit canceled. So that's kind of how I was planning on rolling this video out. But then of course, mother nature stepped in with her sense of negativity. But I chalked this up as a very successful day with the Cummins, um, kind of recuperating for our somewhat turbulent start with this truck's modifications as we've been, well, pretty eager to jump into this thing. The biggest news is what's up and coming. This week, this truck will actually be disappearing from us. And while there are some things that we'll have to talk about related to that, and I'm hoping that I can get you guys an upload by the weekend with updates on that as I've been talking about them for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and doggy, but I haven't actually been able to show anything as a result. And well, this week, going to change that. I wanted to capitalize on the full potential of the 5.9 with being somewhat conservative in kind of the intent of the build. We're not going to do anything like drag racing related to this truck, obviously, but I'm trying to maximize all benefits of a Dodge Cummins and well, we're on an awesome track to do that. So if you guys are excited about the Cummins content, definitely tap that subscribe button right now if you haven't already. Oh my God, look at that view. God, that thing is beautiful. Those taillights are, oh, so beautiful. I think that guy thinks so as well. So before we end this video, there's one last thing that um, I decided to actually change. 
kind of last minute. And uh, that exhaust tip, it's not like that exhaust tip. That exhaust tip is way cleaner and complementary than this exhaust tip. And I think that exhaust tip is just merely slid on to what is the Banks or FlowPro or AFE or whatever manufacturer that exhaust is. I think it needs to come off. Well, it's not coming off. Not on the vlog. They tack welded it right there. And uh, that's the only one that's keeping it on. But it's coming off. I don't like it. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm over it. I don't think it fits this truck. I think this is a five to six inch tip. It's only about 12 inches long. That is a 15 inch long five to seven inch tip. And it seems so much more fitting. I just think on diesel trucks, the seven inch tips minimum are what you need. So my question to you is, Envision this tip off. Would you guys like to see a side exit or an axle dump exhaust in this truck? I'm gonna leave that solely up to your discretion. By majority vote rule, whatever is the most popular request is what we'll end up doing. So cast your vote below. So with that being said, guys, it's crazy to think that Austin is gonna be picking this truck up here within the next week. We're gonna be flying him out from Loretto, Kentucky to take possession of Ron Burgundooly, the honestly one of one studliest dually that there is on the internet right now. Ron Burgundooly was an amazing giveaway and I cannot wait to award this prize to him. But what I want you guys to know is that we have another huge giveaway announcement that's coming very, very shortly. As soon as Ron Burgundooly is well in Austin's possession, that announcement is going to come shortly thereafter. Stay tuned for that giveaway video, guys. I promise you it's gonna be unlike anything you've ever seen before. The production quality is gonna be intergalactic out of this world. I cannot wait to showcase that momentous experience. And the craziest part about all of that is, is well, it's Austin's first time ever getting on a plane. We're flying him out here to pick up the dually that we've all grown to love so much. So with that said, my exhaust tip is a total pain in the, uh, you know what? And well, I'm done with this video. So my like league, I love you guys too. Do the best, tap that thumbs up. And well, I'll see you guys in the next upload.